our last morning waking up at Riverside. But if you know what that means, that means we're getting on the Disney Dream today. I'm so excited. Um, I have this little white outfit. If you have watched my channel before, you will know that this is the dress that I wore for our engagement dinner, and I haven't had an occasion to wear it again. So, yeah, and I have some very special ears that I'm going to put on when we get to the port, but for now, I have this Riverside hat that I bought the other day. I'm really excited. I took some cute pictures. I'll insert them this morning when we were leaving breakfast, and we're just finishing up packing a few bits, and we're going to get in the car and start heading down back to Miami. So we are back at Miami airport. We just returned the car and Tom is ordering us an Uber to get on the ship. So exciting. It's really hot and it's really bright. So I will see you guys next time we're at the terminal. Oh, it's all right. Just getting a little view of it. <laughs> we made it through check-in and there's the ship. Okay. Moments from now, we're like, ah! How excited are you? Out of 10. Eight. Oh. Seven and a half. Eight. Oh. Why seven and a half? Oh, she's a bit size. No, but it's the ship. Look at it. Ah. Not the same excitement as that first cruise. Yeah, yeah. no, I don't want to expect. You don't want to expect. <gasps> How are we going to be introduced? Thomas and Cherry? Yeah. We're going to be Thomas and Cherry, not the future of the service. It's like that. <laughs> it was my engagement day. I was allowed to yeah, be a little. I, I was <laughs> Today, not allowed. <laughs> Alright, let's get on the ship. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We're gonna announce ourselves. Announcing Thomas and Cherry, we are on board. That's so shitty. I'm not gonna lie, last time when we came on and they announced us, that was like real fun. What? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. We're going in. Thank you. Oh, look at all the 25th stuff. Still smells amazing. Oh, there's a big um, thingy. Yay. So it looks like our room is available. All right. We are 8512. I saw bags and I went, oh my god, did our luggage actually beat us? <laughs> took a long time last time. Oh, well. <laughs> it's ours and our castaway 25th anniversary stuff is there. nice being able to go directly to our room. Yeah. Yay! Oh! And we have the emergency drill stuff already on. How nice! Excited? Yeah. Right, are you gonna connect to your phone? You wanna see what's in the bag? Okay. Tom's gonna do a haul for us already. So it says, it's time to cruise Castaway Club. So this is instead of the castaway backpack and luggage tag that you used to get. Hold on. Let me turn this. Okay, ready? Two lanyards! <laughs> Yay! We have our silver Mickey. He's so cute. <gasps> Yay! We're going to put our key to the world card in there. We're on the Disney Dream! We're on the Disney Dream. We're on the Disney Dream. 
It just fits. <laughs> the balance is just right. You look like you're living your best life. If I fits. If I fits, I sits. <laughs> oh, Thomas. Very quick room tour since if you watched our last series, you have seen pretty much what the cabin looks like, only few differences. You have the standing wardrobe and second wardrobe with ladder and life vest. You have the first bathroom, which has a toilet in it, and then the second bathroom, which has the half shower in it with a half bath. And then you come here and this one we did not have last time, which is the little bar and some more drawers. This one is an adjoining, although we have nobody to adjoin with. We have, I think there was a little bit more space in the other one, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Tiny bit? Because I don't remember the bed being this close to the wall. No, it was the same. Okay, well we have the luxurious bed, which is the most comfortable bed I have ever slept on. And the detailing with all of the, like, Disney Cruise Line embroidery, I just love. We have the shade that divides half the room. We have the dressing area with the fridge. The TV is here, of course. This bed also turns into, or this couch turns into a bed. We also have a bed in the ceiling, and then we have a bed down here as well. The slight difference of this room, which was a little bit cheaper, and why we decided to go with this room, is the porthole. So obviously last time we had a huge veranda, and I believe, well there's some something that's up there, but I think we are the tallest one underneath, like above us is the first set of verandas. So, and then the lovely view of Miami. And the parking lot. <laughs> but yeah. So we have a muster drill at four o'clock which is in 30 minutes. So I don't think we're gonna be doing anything until then. Tom's gonna to try and connect his phone to the onboard Wi-Fi and everything to just get everything started. But I think after the mustard drill, we have sailing away at five. 8512. Yes. luggage was delivered right as we were coming out the door so we're just gonna unpack we have some mickey cartoons on and just chill so tom ordered us these magnets for our door so this is actually vero beach which is where we got engaged and then he put the disney dream on there and then it has california and the UK, Cherry and Tom, and then obviously some cherry blossoms for me and a little blue bow tie. And then this one is the little itinerary, which is May 7th through the 20th, Miami to Barcelona. Yay! Tom's just heading into the shower and we've unpacked, we've put everything away. There's really good storage in here. We have all of our things in these drawers. So last time we were here, whoop, last time we did a cruise, we didn't unpack. 
because we were only here for seven days and we didn't want to like lose anything and then we also just like kept pulling things so if you can see right here they have like room for your suitcases which new suitcases um but I kept having to pull it out and it was such a pain in the butt that we're on this cruise for two weeks so I was like you know what we're gonna unpack and so yeah um Tom's in the shower and we might run up I might run up while he's actually in the shower and get us some drinks so maybe I'll go do that and then I'll check in with you guys in a little bit so I just came to the soda stations which are free on Disney Cruise Line you can get all sodas soft drinks and things like that I got an acai uh, vitamin water and just a cup of water um, one of the differences that I can notice so the pool deck is actually quite quiet it might sound a little bit loud because of the Nemo splash pad that's right behind me if you can see really cute one of the differences that I've noticed right away is that this drink soda station is quite far back it's quite near Cabana's and then the fantasy The fantasy, it's like not great that I'm by the slash pad. Um, it's more like mid, mid the deck, just because we're closest towards uh, Census Spa, so we're like the complete opposite to Cabana's. It's just a bit of a walk, which I know that sounds silly because we're on a cruise ship and everything's quite close, but if I just had to pick out one difference that I've seen so far that I didn't like, it's probably that. But other than that, we're doing all right. massive queue for there's 25th anniversary stuff and transatlantic stuff so we're hoping to get in they're opening at 7 it's currently 6 30 now so hopefully we get the stuff we want hi friends okay so we're back in the room i was gonna film that but i have never seen something so crazy in my entire life so that was beyond hectic there was not only 25th anniversary stuff, but transatlantic. And this is the Dream's first transatlantic. So I was kind of more set on wanting the transatlantic merge. Tom was kind of like, oh, I'll look at the 25th stuff. But because I had already seen it online, I, I don't like blue. We all know this. I'm not a blue gal. So I knew that the 25th stuff wasn't going to be like my thing. But there was no, I think the issue is they didn't form a line. They did say that the 25th and the transatlantic was two of the same item per guest was the max that you were allowed to buy which i appreciate because some people will just take the entire row and then sell it online which kind of is really annoying um but yes so tom and i did get very lucky and tom got two shirts i got one of the same and then we got two ornaments which are now wrapped up so i will in editing fix this but um, Tom got another Nike shirt and it says Transatlantic 2023. That's really cute. I like that. And then we both got this shirt, which says Disney Dream. And then on the back, it says Transatlantic Crossing 2023. And it's a cool like tan color, which I like. And then if you remember, I got a ship in the bottle ornament because mine smashed. I cried. I instantly cried. Tom, how much did I cry? Big cry. Big cry, yeah. Um, and then I got a transatlantic ornament, which is all wrapped up now. And then I got my Disney Cruise Line hat, which I was very excited to find finally. And it was the last one. So I'm very excited. But we have two more pieces of luggage and we're missing one bag. So I need to go find that bag.
Hey, you right? <laughs> Okay, ready? One, two, three. Perfect. Do you mind taking one of the dogs? Sure. Thank you. We just got to dinner and our first dinner is in Raiders Palette. Yay! One of my favorites. Um, I'll show you guys the menu. Hello. Hi. He's so red with tonight. The menu, of course, does a little dance. We love that. And then here's a look at tonight's menu. Looking good. Our appetizers just come. We're gonna try the bruschetta with prosciutto. Really good. Good. <laughs> Our soup and salad starter came. Tom got the clam chowder, so no more kisses for Tom. No more. <laughs> And I got the arugula and spinach salad, which comes with red onions and baby tomatoes. We just got our dinner. Tom got a sirloin steak. And I got the penny pasta with shrimp. It looks incredible. Tom got his mango cheesecake dessert. You want to taste test it for the people? Oh no, that's a not, I don't like it face. You don't like it, do you? It's no factory. <laughs> or Cheesecake Factory? Cheesecake Factory. It's cruise ship cheesecake. Still gonna eat it though. <laughs> We just got in from dinner and we have an elephant. And then Tom, do you want to open this box? Sweet dreams are going over here. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's framed. Oh, it's framed. That's really cool. It's like a painting. Yeah. That's nice. So I still have no bag, which I think means it's left in Miami. Um, Signed. Yeah, by the artist. Cool. So uh, I think Tom's gonna use the restroom and then I think we might head back down to guest services again. Okay. The bag has been found, everybody! Such good news. I am in my PJs. I'm ready for bed. It is 10.17 and I think we're gonna watch a movie in our cabin and just chill. Did you want to go up and get a cup of tea? You're gonna drink the cocktail. Tom's gonna drink the cocktail that we got a little bamboozled into getting before the sail away party. Um, is it all right? It tastes good. Still tastes good. So yeah, I think we're gonna pick out a movie and just chill. So that will be the end of day one on traveling to slash getting on the Disney dream. What would you say so far was your highlight of your day? Probably the shopping. Oh yeah, the like scoring the shopping or the like how good it was in the end the price. Well, 
Oh, All of it. Things. Tom is not a shopper, but it gave you a buzz. <laughs> it was like, it was mental. There were people that were like punching each other and stuff and like grabbing shirts out of people's hands. I have never seen that was me. a group of adults. No. You, Tom went to the 25th anniversary stuff and I went over to the transatlantic because that's what I knew that I wanted. And I immediately was like, because I'm tiny and they were just going like hotcakes. But um, Tom just tried on his shirts too and they do fit, which is good. Um, worst part of the day. Probably when I got dehydrated after the mustard drill. Oh, uh, yeah. Sail away. During Sail Away. Tom was not well during Sail Away. I didn't film a lot of Sail Away because if you are... If you're new to my channel, then hi. If you are not new to my channel, then you know that our series from uh, August, we were in the front. I did see that they roped it off for just kids at the very front. Yeah. Which is nice. I do get that. Yeah. Um... And then also, in a sense, if you wanted to be the adults that are right behind that rope, mm. you don't have kids jumping up and down yeah, and everything. Right, right. So that's so that's quite nice. Um, I was telling them the differences that I've seen is that the drinks machines are quite close to cabanas, so yeah. we have to walk really far. Yeah. Which I know that's a silly thing. Um, like, I don't get that because they have the drinks machines in cabanas. Yeah. I don't know why they have to have them so close to cabanas right outside as well well and the fact that the dream and the fantasy are so like sister ships there is like some differences that i'm saying that i'm like hmm all right you know um i would say my highlight of the day i think as well as probably sc scoring the merch and i'd say my low part of the day i'm not gonna lie it was probably getting on the ship yeah not not getting on the ship getting on the ship was like but the last time, if you remember, we walked first of all, I mean, we got to go in the Disney terminal and they weren't in their normal terminal today. They did get put into a different terminal. Um, but and it, it doesn't matter. I mean, terminals are terminals. You know, Disney should have their their flow and their way of doing things. You know, they're, we're, we're going into all these other ports and stuff and places that this ship has never been. But I you know, I know that the dream has been in Miami before, so that's why I'm kind of like... Anyway, um, I think the fact that we, like, came in on deck four and there was just, like, one person there who was like, okay, and so we're outside the ship. That's the first thing that you step onto. Then you had to go down halfway through to midship and then got on... And then had to walk around the atrium, which was dead silent, had no characters, nothing. I mean, you could see the 25th anniversary stuff was everywhere. But then it was just this guy who announced it to an empty atrium. There wasn't even, like, crew and stuff around, like, clapping. Like, if they had been all in the middle, like, maybe that would have been kind of no, cute. Yeah, we did arrive later than we did last time. I mean, I know we ended up late. I don't know. I just... It was kind of a bummer. So I'm glad that we did the fantasy and had that experience the first time around because otherwise I think you probably would have been very underwhelmed with it. Yeah. But anyway, um, no negative things, just like comparing. Uh, who knows? Stay tuned. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!